Attack on Mika! Almost! 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 This goes here, and that goes there, and... Go! Yes! I'm finished! I'm finally done! My name is Atsushi Tadano. I'm a geek from the heart. I was never the loud type. All my classmates at school considered me a loner introvert. However, I never had a problem with it. I love what I do for work, and I get to do whatever I like in my free time. I know that no matter how difficult life may get, I will get through because of my job. I finished a big project I was working on a minute ago, and I'm a free man now. I've been so busy this month, I haven't checked my phone in so long. Crap, so many unread messages. I should read through them. Let's see. Oh no, Hideo was dumped again? Why is Sato Jin sending me so many pictures of random cats? Oh, Ichi sent me a message too. Jeez, the wedding industry is going hard on him. Huh? There's a message from Dad. At Sushi, how is work going for you? I know you must be busy, but you should drop by whenever you have time. Mom misses you. She's been telling me how she hasn't seen you for a long time. He's right. I've been swamped with work. I haven't visited them in a while. I have some time on my hands now. I should visit them. I love manga and anime. My schoolmates used to bully me for it. But my parents never scolded me for being a loser. They always supported me. They would smile and say, You are free to explore anything you would like to. They have my back no matter what. I love my parents. I owe them everything. I'm planning to come by tomorrow. Do you guys want anything? You don't have to bring anything. Just FYI, Mom and I love Shingeki Manjui. Ha <laughs> ha! Atsushi, I'm so glad you're home! Hey, Mom, Dad! Great to see you, son. I missed you guys. I'm so sorry I didn't come by sooner. So, how are you doing? My article will be in a magazine soon. <laughs> I'll send you a copy once it's out. I still don't know what your job is, but it's nice to see you're doing good. Oh, you silly! Why can't you just tell him how proud of him you are? He was going around the neighborhood bragging about you the other day. Hey, he doesn't need to know that. Oh, did you know he cuts out and saves all the articles you're in? We are both so proud of everything you've accomplished. I can't believe how amazing my son is. You never know how to keep your mouth shut. Come on, you must be hungry. Let's go inside. Okay. Oh, hey Atsushi. When did you come home? Ayu. Ew, you still look like such a pathetic geek. Gross. When are you ever going to learn how to be a regular human? It's not that hard. Just do a little research. This is my little sister. Her name is Ayu Tadano. She's nothing like me. She's an extrovert who despises introverts like me. She has always looked down on me, even if she is younger than me. I wouldn't be so upset about it if I was the only victim. However, Ayu attacks my parents as well. Mom, can't you see he turned out like this because of you? According to her, parents are supposed to take care of their children no matter what. I never saw eye to eye with Ayu. We have always hated each other since we were kids. Believe me, you do not want to be in the same room with us. Oh, I'm sorry. She came home suddenly this morning. I was hoping you guys wouldn't have to bump into each other. Mom, don't worry. I'm fine. You're so considerate. Thank you. Hey, you. What the hell did you come home for? Are you going to ask them for money again? What? Stop asking me such ridiculous questions. I'm not here for anybody's money today. I have a big announcement. An announcement? Yes. Look, I'm getting married soon. What? No way! My future husband is nothing like you. He's handsome and reliable. He is an extremely professional man working for Shinmika Corporation. Ayu, don't talk to your brother like that. Hmm, Shinmika Corporation. How did she meet somebody like that? Well, she gets on my nerves, but she's still my little sister. 
I should probably congratulate her. Congratulations, Ayu. I'm happy for you. So, have you decided on a date for your wedding? Oh, I almost forgot about that. I don't want people to think you're a part of my family. What? So I would prefer you to stay away from my wedding. Wait, uh, why are you saying that? Let me make one thing clear. You're a loser and an embarrassment to the family. I already told him that I'm an only child. You're not invited to the wedding. Ayu, how dare you say such horrible things? You idiot, you've gone too far this time. Trust and honesty are the most important when it comes to marriage. How could you lie to them? Nobody asked for your opinion. You guys are to blame for this. You screwed up raising that idiot. Why would your son let him grow up as a loser geek? It's humiliating to have such a worthless brother like him. Why am I getting crap for saying the right thing? Ayu, it's not too late. Let's tell your future husband and his family the truth. I'm sure they will understand if we can explain everything to them. Mom is right. We trusted you when you told us you would take care of everything. I need to do this for my happy ending. Stay out of it! How am I supposed to introduce this loser to my future in-laws? Atashi is not a loser. He is a responsible adult with a respectable job. Yeah, yeah, he's a loser who can't find work at a regular company. Why are you two always taking his side, not mine? You don't deserve to be my parents. Hey, how dare you talk to mom and dad like that? You can say whatever you want about me, but I won't let you badmouth them. Well, excuse me for stating the obvious. Whatever, I'm done with this. Don't you dare try to rain on my parade. You'll regret it. Are you? That's sushi. This is all my fault. I had no idea she would do something like this. Now I know why she never let us meet her future in-laws. Don't say that. None of this is your fault. She needs to be taught a lesson on how to treat her parents. Yes, she should be punished for disrespecting them like that. The day of the wedding. Honey, are you sure we should be here like this? Nothing we say will change her mind. I'm a bit worried. That sushi said something about teaching her a lesson. I wonder what he has planned. Thank you for a moving speech. I'm sure we're all holding back the tears. Next, we have a present for the bride and groom. Somebody has drawn a special portrait to congratulate the beautiful couple. Huh? A special portrait? Will everybody please face the big screen over there? What the hell is that? That is such a tacky picture. Who in the world? Isn't this a picture drawn by atsu -san? Uh huh. Atsu? He's the artist in charge of all the illustrations we use in our company. He's famous. Every company in the advertising industry would kill for a chance to work with him. Having atsu -san in charge of illustrations can change everything for a company. Uh-huh, I see. This is such an honor. I did tell him about the wedding, but I never expected this. Hmm? This eye-catching portrait is a surprise gift from Ayo-san's older brother. What a creative way to congratulate the lovebirds. Huh, brother? Did I hear that right? Ayo, you said you were an early child? Uh-huh. Uh, the thing is... Now that I think back on it, Atsu-san told me his last name was Tadano. Oi, Ayo! Can you explain what's going on? I'm gonna have to reconsider this wedding. Wait, I'll get my brother to come here right now. We can clear things up after he comes. Hello, Atsushi? <sighs> you need to come to the wedding now! Why would I go to the wedding? You're the one who told me not to come. How dare you ruin my wedding with that stupid portrait! Oh, I'm glad to see you like it. It's pretty good, yeah? It is not good at all. Why did you have to humiliate me like that? Oh, calm down. Your makeup will get ruined. Shut up! You better get here fast. 
Do you really think that's the right way to ask somebody for a favor? You seriously have no idea how twisted your personality is, do you? Ugh, you have no right to say that. Just get here ASAP. Huh? Oh, I can't. It's a good opportunity for you to better yourself. Bye. Hey, wait! At sushi? At sushi! If you ask me, there's no one to blame but you, Ayu. You should reflect on the way you've been living so far. That freaking loser geek! How dare he! He'll pay for this! What am I supposed to do now? I wasn't surprised to hear Ayu's ex fiance called off the wedding. I don't blame him. How could he trust her after finding out her lies? None of this was his fault. He had no idea I was her brother. But he took time out of his busy schedule to apologize to me. I apologized for my sister causing him trouble, and we made up on a peaceful note. I still work with the company my sister's ex fiance works at. Let's see now, until the last phase. Hey, Mom, do you have some time? Are you sure everything will be okay? She'll be fine as soon as she realizes what she's been doing wrong. Nobody gets away with disrespecting their parents as she did. I would quit her job to prepare for a marriage. She is jobless and broke. I knew she would come to our parents for help, and so I decided to keep my parents at my place so she wouldn't be able to sponge off them. She started calling me nonstop, but I ignored every single one of them. She can rot away in poverty until she learns her lesson. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns. It's best to live a modest, prepared life. <laughs> Anyways, I should get back to work.